TP-Link Festa is specifically designed for small businesses, home offices, and prosumers. With the Festa cloud-based controller, you can control your Festa gateways, switches, and access points easily, benefiting from quicker business responses with our streamlined cloud solution. In this video, we will show you how to configure a Festa network via the cloud-based controller. This example uses a coffee shop, a typical scenario for the Festa network solution. In this example, we will use a Festa FR205 as the gateway, a Festa FS308GP as the PoE switch, and a Festa F61 as the access point, all of which can be managed from the Festa CPC. To build the network, we will need to connect the WAN port of the gateway to the internet and the LAN port to the PoE switch. We will then need to connect the access point and other wired clients to the PoE switch. In this example, the network is shared by the owner, their staff, and customers. For enhanced security, we will want to divide the network into separate VLANs and limit access to different clients. The specific requirements for the network are 1. The owner should have full access to the entire network. two. The staff can access the internet with no restrictions, but cannot access the core network. Three, customers can only use the internet, but with rate limit. To meet these requirements, we will need to take the following steps. To manage the network via the Festa CBC, you will need a TP-Link ID. Go to the Festa web portal, https colon forward slash forward slash festa.tplinkcloud.com to create a TP-Link ID. Log in to the Festa Cloud. Click Add Controller to register for a new cloud-based controller. For first-time users, it is recommended to follow the wizard to set up the controller. Now your controller and site have been successfully configured. Click Finish and you will be presented with an overview of the controller, which will provide you a basic understanding of the Festa controller. Before adopting devices to the controller, make sure that all of your FESTA devices have access to the internet. Go to the Devices menu and click Add Device. Enter the serial number of each device. If you have a large number of devices, use the Import option to adopt devices in batch. Click Confirm. Wait for the devices to be successfully adopted by the controller. After adopting the devices, you will be able to see device information through the controller's dashboard and menus. Go to Dashboard. Here we can see the connected devices, the SSIDs and the clients of the most active access point, and alerts. In the Map menu, you can view the topology of the network. In the Clients and Insight menu, you can check the network's wired and wireless client list and get information about past portal authorizations and VPN status. You can also view the log and use tools like Network Check and Terminal to monitor or analyze the network. Go to Settings, Wired Network, then LAN. The default LAN, VLAN 1, represents the core network. For this example, we will keep the default settings. Based on the network deployment requirements, we will need an additional VLAN to separate the staff and the customer networks from the core network. For this example, we will create VLAN 10 for the staff and VLAN 20 for the customers. Click on Create New LAN. Specify the name for the VLAN. For the purpose, select Interface as we will create an interface for this VLAN. Select all of the LAN ports on the gateway that should belong to this VLAN. Select the VLAN ID as VLAN 10. Set the gateway and subnet as 192 dot one six eight dot ten dot one slash twenty four and click update DHCP range. We will then get the IP range for this VLAN. The other settings can be kept on default or configured based on your specific network needs. Click save. Repeat this process to create VLAN 20. Go to settings wireless network, then WLAN. Based on the requirements, we will need to create three separate Wi-Fi's for the networks. Click on Create New Wireless Network. For the owner, set the SSID and security key and keep the other settings on default. 
For the staff, follow the same procedure but also enable VLAN and specify VLAN 10 in the advanced settings. For the customer Wi-Fi, enable guest network to prevent clients from reaching any private IP subnet. Additionally, enable VLAN and set the VLAN ID as 20. You will also customize the client rate limit profile to limit the download and upload rates. Click apply to save the settings. We have now created the three SSIDs and associated the VLAN for staff and customers connected to the corresponding Wi-Fi. However, clients in different VLANs can still access the core network and communicate with each other through the VLAN interfaces. Thus, we will need to configure extra ACL rules for each interface to block the clients from reaching the core network and other interfaces to enhance network security. Go to Network Security, ACL, and then Gateway ACL. Click the plus to create a new rule. Enter a description to identify the rule and click the checkbox to enable the ACL. Select LAN to LAN for direction, deny for policy, and all for protocols. Select network for both source and destination type. Choose the LAN network created in step four as the source network and the default network and other interfaces as the destination. By doing so, all the clients connected to the specific VLAN interface will be unable to access the core network or other subnets. Click create and the ACL rule will take effect immediately. The ACL rules for other interfaces can be configured in the same way. We have now built a complete network for the coffee shop. You should have the following results. Three different Wi-Fi networks for the owner, the staff, and customers. The owner has full access to the entire network without limit. The staff have unrestricted internet access, but cannot access the core network. Customers can only access the internet with a rate limit. Here's the example of how we built the centralized network by using TP-Link's Festa products. For more details on Festa products and solutions, please visit our website, https colon forward slash forward slash www.tp-link.com slash us slash landing slash Festa.